Hi all, thank you for joining me today. Candace Gillespie here from Candace's Candaces.com and my voice is almost back to normal. You can hear my son in the background kind of little coffee, but he's getting better also. So today I'm going to show you a super fun card. Um, it's a masculine card using the Open Sea stamp set from Stampin' Up! <clears throat> so first we'll start with some Whisper White cardstock and um, just a normal four and a quarter by five and a half card base. This is a side fold card, so it's your standard card. We're going to use some on film framelits and the Big Shot. Run that through the Big Shot and it gives us this Polaroid looking frame. It's pretty fun. Gently peel that out and this is what we have. Now at first I thought I wanted to um, add this on top of Whisper White cardstock, but you'll see I changed my mind. In the meantime, I am kind of tracing the outside edges so I know how far to take my ink. Um, and I'm going to use some masking tape here, which I need to find a better <laughs> option for masking tape. I need to get some of that, um, what's it called, the uh, post-it note tape, yeah, because I always tear my paper with this. Okay, I'm going to use the scrap cardstock that came out of the center of that Polaroid piece. And I cut it to be like a little um, crescent shape here. And I taped it down and I'm using some soft sky on, and then some uh, marina mist on top of the soft sky. And then I'm bringing in some Tangelo Twist on top of that to give it kind of a nice kind of like a dusk type scene. Then I'm going to use the negative of that piece I just cut to make something that looks like water. <laughs> to do that I'm using Pacific Point and Night of Navy. Starting with Pacific Point I am mostly covering this space and I'm dabbing uh, my sponge onto it kind of giving it splashy looks and then I'm taking Night of Navy and I'm going kind of intermittently where filling in where there's white and then intermittently over the Pacific Point. And then I'm just kind of taking my sky or soft sky blue to kind of mellow out those darker pieces that are kind of sticking up on either side there. You can't really see it, but um, I saw them. <laughs> so here's where I am uh, revealing the scene, which I love the way this looks. But I just can't peel off masking tape without peel, um, peeling off my paper. So this is when I really decided to do something different with this. Um, now I'm going to take my Polaroid frame and some Versamark ink, some scratch paper. And I'm just going to cover that as evenly as possible with Versamark ink. <clears throat> and then I'm covering that with... This is what I'm using is actually pewter, but I think our smoky slate is the most, um, the closest embossing powder to this. You can use silver or smoking slate because the pewter is no longer available, but I don't want to buy another one until I run out of this. So um, that's what I'm using. And it, it's really neat. The areas that um, are still white, I just kind of re ink that up with first mark and put more powder on it and melted it all and it's done. Now I'm cutting out my little seam between the inside and the outside lines that I kind of traced in there. So I know that this will stick to the inside of my frame and I left a nice big thick tab down at the bottom so I know for sure it'll be glued down. It kind of reminds me the frame of like a duct tape on there. It's really kind of neat looking. Some basic black card stock and I am just getting this on here kind of placing on there, seeing where I want it, and then using some Tombow Mono Multi-Glue to um, glue this down. And I'm just putting a super thin line of glue on the frame of that where it sticks out and then trimming off this little tiny piece that it where it sticks out. And then I'm tilting this to the left here, you'll see. Um, before I do that, I'm going to bring in the honeycomb embossing folder and run this through the Big Shot. And fast forward and it's done. And I'm just going to use a bunch of um, Stampin' Dimensionals. Now, 
I, I kind of jumped the gun here because I should have stamped before I put them on dimensionals, but it's no problem. So what I did, you can kind of see, I just made it as crooked as I could, kind of aligned toward the top without it going over on either side. <clears throat> so here is where I am going to bring in three of these little eight inch uh, mini brads. Love these little brads and my 16th inch circle punch and trying to punch three holes um, directly next to each other using my paper snips once they're done and I'm pushing them down on the heads to make sure they're nice and flat. Um, they're opened up really wide and good. So I'm using the boat, the anchor, and the compass from this stamp set, the Open Sea stamp set. And first I am mounting the compass and I'm stamping that in crumb, crake, crumb, crumb cake, stamping it off twice, and then stamping it kind of in the sunshiny sky area. And had I not mounted it on foam dots, it would have not left the little stamp outline marks. But, you know, this card, it really kind of adds to it. I, it doesn't bother me at all, and it usually bothers me. So um, I decided to stamp with Stays On Jet Black ink right in the scene with this boat image. Initially, I thought of stamping it onto some Whisper White cardstock. Here, by the way, I'm just cleaning my stamps in case you were wondering how I did that. Um, but then when I was looking at it, I didn't want the white. I wanted you to be able to see the sky through the, um, you know, the top of the ship. The What are those called? The, anyway, the sails <laughs> and stuff. So anyway, that's how I ended up doing it. Whisper White Baker's Twine to finish off the card front there and to bring in that Whisper White color also. Loading the back up with Stampin' Dimensionals. Time to open a new pack. I always love crisp new packs of Dimensionals. <laughs> Fast forward so you don't have to watch me put on all these and take off the backs of all of them. And then center that as best as I could. I'm kind of fidgeting with it because I tend to like to put it on Cricut. I don't know why. <laughs> So there you go, that's the card front. Now the card, um, on the inside of the card, I'm just using a basic black mat of five and a quarter, no, five and a half by four, no, five and a quarter by four, that's right, <laughs> gluing that down. And then a whisper white mat to go on top. And of course I'm using my stamp and trimmer to trim the whisper white piece. Here it is. Okay, and the Whisper White cardstock, that is going to measure three and three eighths. No, 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 sorry. Three and seven eighths by five and one eighths. And then um, I'm going to use the anchor and stays on, and I'm going to stamp it once full strength, move it to the right, stamp it, and move it to the left and stamp it. And it just kind of gives this layered stamping effect. Then glue that on there and the card is basically done. Thank you so much for tuning in today for Cards Cards Monday. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I look forward to seeing you for Scrappy Wednesday. Thank you so much also for subscribing to my channel and um, for liking this video and for leaving a joyful comment. I just love reading your comments and um, it's so fun. So um, you can also visit CandiceCanvases.com where you can shop my Stampin' Up! store, shop my homemade goods, and you can join my team there. So I'll see you there. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.